What's up everybody, this is Quinn Congress, proud chief fashion officer of the Purse Paparazzi, and I know that all of you watch my pitch journey. Let me tell you how today was absolutely crazy. When I say I cried real tears, let me just kind of back you up for a second. So you know I have a one and a three year old that I do absolutely everything for. Husband drops me off at the airport last night. I get to Atlanta because I am pitching. I'm at the Spanx headquarters. Sorry I couldn't take any pictures of the wonderful Sarah Blakely, so I'm outside doing it right now, kind of giving you a recap video of what just happened right so I get to the airport the uber crazy was all around finally found an uber got to a friend of a friend's house to let me stay there so super shout out to Candace Denise for hooking me up with her line sister Naomi who let me stay there so we have to be here pretty much from like all day until like all night so I decided to get my rental car early before I came out here to actually do my pitch and we had seven minutes this time which you know for me that is a world of time I'm used to 60 seconds or 30 seconds so I go to get the rental car I stand on the wrong line for 20 minutes by the time I find the right line the freaking Avis line for rental cars is an hour long I'm losing my freaking mind like I have got to be there I finally get the rental car go out there and I know I'm gonna miss my time yes yeah, specific times 11:42 that I had to pitch right miss my time completely get in atlanta traffic and by this time i'm crying i'm just over it like i'm like i put money into this i've invested my time my energy i bought my purses here like i missed my time i was just completely distraught i get here and i ask if i can still pitch they're like, well basically you missed your time so i don't know if we can squeeze you in so i'm sitting there completely about to give up on life just completely just done this beautiful spirit soul named danielle Oh my God, let me tell you something. If you guys need social media, I'm going to give you her information. She comes up to my table. She's like, listen, you know, I, I work full time. However, I want to help entrepreneurs like you grow your business through social media, through press releases, through reaching out to the media and pitching you. I would like to stay in contact. So we, you know, make small talk. She's like, you know, I really don't want to, you know, pitch. I'm like, what? She was like, I was like, can I have your space, girl? She gave me her space. You see, this is the... <laughs> That's the real shout dance, not even on a Sunday. So she gives me her slot to pitch. And I don't even know what's gonna happen from there, but all I know is I get in there, I pitch my product, check this out. Two of the judges, well, there was two in there, there's different rooms. Both of the judges were Deltas, and both of them went to an HBCU. One, to, one went to FAMU and one went to Spelman. How cool is that? If that is not favor, y'all, I don't know what is. Like, I'm sitting here like on cloud a million, if that's even possible, just for the opportunity to be here. Super grateful for Danielle, who's actually shooting this video for me right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna take her to lunch to show her how grateful I am for giving you that opportunity. So. I prayed the whole way in the car in between those tears that I would still have the opportunity and God truly answered prayer. So I don't know what's going to happen right now. We have a break until four o'clock and then we come back. We have a series of workshops and then they announce the finalists and who's going to pitch in front of everyone. So my pitch journey continues, but I just want to say thank you so much for Danielle, of course, for giving me her slot. She did not have to do that. So I appreciate her more than what she knows. And as well as thank you to Spanx for the facility. Thank you for Arian for hosting this because it's a hundred thousand dollars online and what entrepreneur out there that doesn't want a chance to grow, start, and expand their business. So stay tuned. Quinn Conyers, Atlanta, uh, pitch competition number 475 million. I don't know. I lost count. Just keep <laughs> doing it. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks, guys.